like not been home that long. I came home, I had lunch, and I wrapped my Auntie Gina's present. So, yeah, I'm giving her that today. And I'm also giving my dad his whiskey today as well. So, I shall see him very soon. I went from wearing a dress to this. His emoji as well. So, yeah. I'm going to try and finish uh, the Starless Sea before I go back out and then when I come back I'll have a bath and everything. I realised that I didn't say one hello welcome to vlogmas day 15 and 16 and two didn't tell you where I'd been this morning. I have had an interview this morning, so that's why I went from my dress to this. And I've got to go see my dad at his work tonight. And then after that, I've got to go see Gina. So, yeah, quite busy today. Tomorrow isn't too bad. I'm just wrapping tomorrow. Like, I'm wrapping presents, so I'll probably film wrapping presents tomorrow. And then after I've wrapped my presents, I'm probably just going to chill for the rest Let's of the day. Finish the style of C. I was going to give this 4.75 stars because it's very repetitive with the um, beginning of the chapters. Starting with Zach's name or like saying the son of the fortune teller. But the ending actually made me up it to a 5 star. I actually really enjoyed this. It's very whimsical. The writing is absolutely beautiful. Like, the imagery in this, it's stunning. It is stunning. Like, everything is a metaphor. Everything has their own story. Like, every object has its own story. All the characters are main characters in their own way. It was so good. And it was beautiful. And I love that I read it at this time of year. Like, you would think Starless Sea is to do with summer, but it's actually not. The Starless Sea surrounds, like, autumn and winter. So I'm glad that I read it in winter. And I do highly recommend this if you're a fantasy reader or you're a horror reader and you're just getting into fantasy, read this. Because... Like, some parts of this was very fucking dark. Like, I had a couple of what the fuck moments. I might need to re-tab this because some of my tabs actually fell out. But I'm not going to do that right now. But oh my gosh, that was amazing. Wow. I don't have time to go get a bath. But in about 20 minutes, I'm off to go meet my dad. And then probably like give him his whiskey and um set off to my auntie's go to my auntie's i'm not gonna stay too long at my auntie's because it's gonna be dark it's gonna be quite dark so i'm gonna go to my auntie's drop her present off sort her phone out probably say hello to frodo have a drink or two with her i'm not gonna have any food because like i'm gonna have food here and then I'm going to come home and chill with Josh and open um, our bookmas, like open my bookmas, which is actually a green this time. It's a green one, which means it's even. It's an even number. But yeah, five stars. Hello. So I opened uh, book number 12. While I was on sprints, I'm still on sprints, but I'm doing like just one sprint tonight and then doing quite a few tomorrow. So this says, Hunters fight to the end, Colonial City sucks souls, house to protect from sprints. And this is The Vor by B. Catlin. And it says, the Vor is a vast, perhaps endless forest, sentient and magical, a place of demons and angels, of warriors and priests. Legend holds that the Garden of Eden still exists at its heart. 
Now a renegade foreign soldier intends to be the first human to traverse its expanse. Fact and fiction blend. The hunter will become the hunted and humanity's fate will hang in the balance. So I love the cover of this and so does Josh. Josh is currently gaming. Yep. And I also started What Moves the Dead on the bus, but uh, I'm on chapter two already, I'm 11 pages in, and I'm really enjoying the writing style, and I think it's very grotesque, and I've already shuddered because it mentioned a massive spider, so I'm just like, nope, nope. I don't like spiders, so, yep. Also, tomorrow I will be wearing my antlers while I'm live to make it more Christmassy because I'm wrapping my presents tomorrow while I'm live. So, very Christmassy tomorrow. And I'll make sure to actually film that while I'm sprinting. Well, I'm on sprints and um, I finished wrapping. I'm obviously wearing my little reindeer. If I was a reindeer out of all of the reindeers that Santa has, I would be Donna. Home early. Home early today. Yeah, because it's half, uh, half day and uh, I've got the weekend off. Um, <coughs> so, RNG generator, I've got the uh, um, numero uno. The number one book uh, and this one is a peculiar medical practice supernatural I can't, I can't supernatural read. adjacent adjacent life, life. keen people uh, keep people safe and quirky new heroin no. Yes. Don't hit my fucking camera. Down in. Sorry, my stomach just kind of made a noise. Huh? <laughs> she hungry. I'm not hungry. Yes. No. Yes. Set that down. Motherfucker. <laughs> I have to deal with this every day, you know. My stomach mess. just made another noise. This is going to be the right, back. This is, this is the back. Shibba da shibba shibba da. Interesting. I don't want to say your name yet. Set in London. Ooh, this looks like a horror. All right. Well, it's it's, it's a horror fantasy thing. Okay. Yeah. So it says, meet Greta Helsing, Doctor to the Undead. Oh, uh, Helsing is vampires. Yep. Yay! After inheriting a highly specialised and highly peculiar medical practice, Dr. Helsing spends her days treating London's undead for for a host of ills. So she treats the undead. Oh, okay. I actually, this is interesting. Vocal strain, uh, vocal strain in banshees, arthritis in narrow rights, uh, rights, and entropy in mummies. Although barely making ends meet, this is just quiet, supernatural, adjacent life. Greta dreamed of since childhood, but when a sect of murderous monks emer emerges, killing humans and undead alike, Greta must use all of her natural skills to keep her supernatural clients and the rest of London safe. James Burnett, the uh, author of Chasing Embers, reviewed this and so did Laura Amy uh, Schiltz, author of Firespell. And this is ooh, ooh. That's why I said it looks like a horror. Strange practice, a Greta, uh, Doctor Greta Helsing novel. So that maybe I, means that it's a series. It yeah. could be a series. No, I don't think it, it wouldn't make sense, would it? 
It would if it said a, a, a Dr. Greta Van Helsing thing. Yeah, but they wouldn't give us like an actual series, though, if you think about it. Because they would have to give us several books of that series. <laughs> and this is by Vivian Shaw, of course. That's well pretty. Oh, that's ace. That's quite cute. That's quite cute. They're fucking cute! Oh my god! That is really cute. I know. Let me let me check the back crack, see if there was uh... Oh have you noticed? Hmm? Different colours. Or a different colour. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Oh the font. Look at the font. Isn't that? I like that font. It's a nice nice clean font. That's a cute So yeah, that's book number one, A Strange Practice. Yeah. Greta Fun uh, Greta I almost said Greta Funberg. I knew you were I know Greta. I almost fucking said <laughs> um, it fucking Greta Funberg me. Greta Halsey. What? Greta Halsey. Bye bye.